purchase. Now, of all of our cocktails through the second season of Quarantine Cocktails, this is the most like season one of just, <laughs> let's just throw a bunch of shit in here and see yeah. what happens. You know, this is the least professional of our cocktails. Although I, I will say, if you have I'll blame that on all the rye. Yeah. And, and bourbon. There we go. All right, welcome back, season two, episode 15 of Quarantine Cocktails. Sadly, kind of come to the end of what we figured would be our second season run. Don't really know if we're gonna do a full third season yeah. of an additional 15 episodes or if we'll just kind of continue to release, you know, five episode chunks. We didn't dive into tequila. No. No, might be That's nice. True. The breadth and depth of things that you can do with booze is really unending. So we'll probably find mm -hmm. some way to keep doing this because it's kind of fun. We, we just get smashed and we play video games. And yeah. It's good for us. Exactly. So whether we'll continue and do a full third season or if we'll just continue to count up in the episodes remains to be seen. But at the oh, very yeah. least, I think we need to do some tequila. First and foremost, we need to finish up with our stretch of whiskey cocktails. Now, when you think of whiskey cocktails, mm -hmm. especially if you're from Saskatchewan, you pretty much just think of Ryan Coke. I don't know if Albertans even have as much of an appreciation for Ryan Coke as Saskatchewanites do. Like, it really is a very that is, specific thing. That is Saskatchewan, home of the two-part cocktail. Rye, Coke. Rye, ginger. Rum, <laughs> orange. Rum, Coke. Like, it's... We're, we're a simple people. We're a simple people. Yeah. What we're going to be doing here today is boosting up a traditional Saskatchewan rye yeah, coke. I'm this really is sick. the cherry smash rye and coke. Yes. The recipe we're following originally was for like a fish bowl, and it said you wanted over a cup of cherries. We've adjusted that. We've we've. Uh, I think this is about a cup. Okay, you can use really? fresh cherries. You can use frozen cherries, or just straight up good old maraschino cherries. There you go. And then it also says a little bit of sugar mm -hmm. when you mash this up. Now, we have replaced it with the syrup that the cherries come in. Yeah, you just want that little extra bit of sweetness. And then what you want to do is so you start muddling it together in your shaker. Um, you do actually want to add your whiskey at this point as well. Oh, did I? Yep. Oh. For the whiskey, uh, this suggests, again, for a fishbowl, four ounces. I think we're going with what? Two? We're, we're going to do the same. Okay. Or let's do three. Yeah, all right. We were like, oh, we're gonna adjust this recipe so it's not full fishbowl, and then we're basically doing a fishbowl. So what you want, again, is you got your cherries. If you're gonna use sugar, you use that or whatever uh, substitute for that equivalent, and then your booze. And then what <laughs> this recipe suggests is you muddle it until you have a pulp. What? Should I just use the immersion blender? Sure. <laughs> That looks pretty pulpy to me. All right. Well, there's our muddled Ooh. cherry rye. That's like a strawberry pig. That looks really appetizing. You know, I would... Does it smell good? Does it just smell I could like... drink that straight up. Oh, it smells like maraschino heaven. I don't think I could drink that straight up. So there we go. Once you get it poured out over your rocks, all you need to do is add a little bit of cola. And this is gonna be to taste, so. Yeah, I think you wanna stir it. So once you get your beautiful mix all incorporated and you've got this beautiful, you know, just gorgeous cherry dark red color going, you just wanna give a little garnish, a little cherry on top, as they say. There you go. Cherry Coke Whiskey Smash. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that is deadly. That is dangerous. You could absolutely crush those. I'm going to. <laughs> oh, this is good. Mm -hmm. It's quite sweet. Imagine a Ryan Coke made with cherry whiskey and Coke or Ryan Coke made with whiskey and cherry Coke, either one, mm -hmm. and then crank those flavors up by about 10. Yeah. 
And that's what you got here with the Cherry Smash Rye Coke. Oh my God. This is so fucking good. Yeah. So. Oh my goodness. I'm going to go ahead and guess if we had to rank all of these cocktails. Yeah. So first to last. Whiskey, I'm thinking this is top for you. We did this. Mm -hmm. We did the Old Fashioned. Yeah. We did the Whiskey Sour. Yeah. Mint we, Julep. Mint Julep. And the uh, Lynchburg Lemonade. Lynchburg Lemonade. Lynchburg Lemonade. Yes. So I'm going to go, how should I rank this in terms of drinkability? Yeah. I'm going to say this, this number one. Number two, it's between old fashioned with high quality mm -hmm. alcohol. I was going to say there has to be a caveat for that. You know, it, good, it's, it's yeah. this with high quality alcohol and the Lynchburg Lemonade is right there with it. I The only thing is I would switch these in, in for number one and number three spot for me just because I'm not a huge as big a fan of the cherry and coke and i love a lynchburg lemonade mm -hmm. but those are the top three for me as well all in all i would say whiskey has been my favorite like run of cocktails this has been every single drink has been exceptional yes you can hand me any one of exactly. these and i even, would be like even with you. cheap jimmy here everything Everything through this whiskey bourbon series was was delicious. Absolutely delicious. And so one thing that's kind of played through my mind as we've gone further on in this series, our most loyal commenter mm -hmm. on YouTube, my dad, <laughs> throws in his two cents every episode. It's so been, wonderful. would Kim drink this cocktail? Yeah, that is sort of like a, a secret barometer for us in the background. And through the rum, it was maybe this one, probably not that one. Caesar, absolutely. The rest, <laughs> maybe not so much. Once you get into the whiskey, probably mm. not the mint julep, yeah. but the rest, I'm sure he would. Yeah. And that's kind of a good barometer for me. Yeah. And I would agree. Would, would Kim drink these? And this one, I think so. And speaking of our most loyal commenter, Dylan's dad, he did ask us to do something special during our run of whiskey episodes. And we do want to do this because this is something that means something to us as well. Kim has asked us to do a tribute uh, to um, say farewell in some way through this to John Prine. Pour one out for John. Yeah. Uh, John Prine, legendary singer, songwriter, inspired millions through his music, which was just honest and amazing and goofy and beautiful and we're happy to do this in memory of him for john how was that i didn't think you're actually gonna shoot that <laughs> quarantine cocktails for john <coughs> Better with the better. Uh. <laughs> oh, here comes exactly. the risky hiccup. <laughs> but I'm saying, nice. This episode is gonna be a fucking nightmare. Oh yeah, I'm so Damn sorry. It. Oh yeah, we're definitely like too tipsy. Go ahead.